If it ain't broke, don't fix it. No change necessary, friends. No change necessary at all. Mm. Mm. Little scritchies, little scratchies. Little no problem. Garrosh versus Garrosh. Victory on death! I will crush you! You know what I'm gonna be playing tomorrow, I'm thinking. Hmm. We're against a warrior. Is it okay to toss back the Grim Patron? I think so. I think it's pretty cool. Mmm. Mmm. Oh god, I ate some butter chicken during the break. And the cats were very interested in me as a person. You know what I have? I have a OTK Paladin. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The Godfinger says, Day 9, if you were to write a book, what genre would it be? Probably urban fantasy, I guess. Seems good. Made to fit. Urban fantasy, dark fantasy, something like that. Something cool, something really cool, you know. My blade be thirsty. I don't really want to hit him twice. I just want to show him what I got. Oh. Let the pain mm. speak Dance said, I would also be very interested in you as a person with butter chicken. I knew it. Luktar, oh god! Luktar, oh frickin' gar. You know what? Do I want this? Is this critical? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna armor up. Hmm. Warble says, so Dresden Files? Yeah, I would rewrite the Dresden Files. Ooh. High Fantasy has never been that interesting to me. Um, never, never could quite get into it. You know? Never could quite. What up? Pass me that arc light spanner! Oh, singing that war song, Froth and Berserker! Mmm. Well, okay, here's here's actually here's here's the thing that I dislike about high fantasy, which is not actually a comment on the genre very much at all, more so as it is just how it happens to pan out. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Slam. So if I hit and hit and oh yeah, that's it. The blade be thirsty. I'm gonna hit him. Bam! Here comes the drawing. Boom! Here it comes. Struck down. Flucked on. Hey! Give me a minute! Here's the, the 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 thing I struggle with is just slow pacing. I like things that grip me a lot. That's one of the things that I like about urban fantasy as a genre is that like I open it and it's trying to tell a story that begins and ends within this set of pages. And a lot of high fantasy is like, and they braided their hair in this particular way before eating this soup whose recipe I'm about to tell you. I'm like, Jesus, I do not have time to read about soup, but I guess that's what my, my evening's gonna be. <laughs> Again, there's nothing wrong with that, but like, I, I just get tired. Like for instance, Harry Potter, had a pretty crisp pace to it. I dug me some Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings. Um, actually, I've never read Lord of the Rings. Never read it. Oh, the shield slams are gone. That's good news. At least we know this. So there's, there's, there's nothing in any way that I have an issue with the genre. Just the few high fantasy things that I'm that I have radio. Werbles like you're talking about the Wheel of Time. Yeah, Wheel of Time, no doubt, that's an amazing series. I will never be able to get into it because I just couldn't quite get into the start of that. So if I play this and that and that, no, I don't have enough for it. I like cards. Give me that card, yeah. Hmm. Cards. 
Yeah. Slam. Everyone, get in here. I can Grim Patron. Cool Taskmaster. A dragon! A dragon! Look, Tar Ogar, my friend. What is up? Pain, speak to me. Pain, speak to me. Gaiatsu, so Nyan says, you a fan of Blade Runner, then? Uh, I read... Or, not read, I watched... Like, 80% of Blade Runner. And just, you know, I kind of just... That was it. Well, here we go. A fight! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Everyone, get in here! Everyone, get in here! Everyone, get in here! Well, no brawl one time. No brawl one time. I, I watched like 80% of Blade Runner and just turned it off. <laughs> you know that thing, that urge that people have to finish the work because they need to know what happens? I actually don't have that. All right, Frothing Berserker. Get there one time, Frothing Berserker. Shield Slamos. Unless it can still Armor Smith Whirlwind Battle a Rage. So that's good. We got no Shield Slams. Yeah, I can live with that. I can take the hit. I can I can do it. I'm a hit taker. I'm a 10-3. Hit me in the face. Hit me in the face. Hit me in the face. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I wish I could have done damage to him. <laughs> Sean and Nina talking about watching just one more game. That's the story of my freaking life. Oh, blood and plunder. Blood and plunder. blood and plunder. Should have axed the shield maiden. Maybe so. Straight axed her a question. Yeah, dude, I, I had that problem last night. Like 11.30, I was like, okay, I'm done. Let me just watch one oh, more yeah. game. It was quite a bit later. Oh, it was quite a bit later. How can I deal one damage to these guys to get some value out of the battle rage? I can do it like that. I'm gonna do it this way. Battle rage! Huh? Oh. Hmm. 
Battle the danger. What's going on here? Okay. Everybody now. Get low. Get low. Get low. Tricks and Netflix is my enemy. Yeah, I'm good. <sighs> Give me that armor. Do I fre frequent what website? We need more experience still. We are young and inexperienced, for sure, though. Mm. I bring life. Get there. Let's get there. Mm. Definitely misplayed the previous turn. Armor made to fit. Back to work. <laughs> Maybe we can fatigue. Oh. Well Alright. Some errors have occurred for sure. My thanks. Dead rabbit. Wrecked. Alright. Uh BTYM I could not do that play because it was the first turn that I had run it out. But if I had run out the death spike the previous turn, then I could have done that. So let me Thalnos Taskmaster get in there. It's all about the task at hand. Hmm. And see, that's gonna fix it. It's gonna fix everything. This deck in the hands of someone who gets it. Ooh. Could be so effective. I must protect the one. Victory or death! Alright. Well, look at that. I got the combo. I think I tossed them all back, right? Because I'm trying to stay alive early. As long as I stay alive early, it's inevitable that I'm going to win every single game in the world. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Going on a losing streak, and here's the storm is painful. Is it? My like, I am actually unaware if I've ever been on a losing streak in HOTS. 
Like, I know that has probably happened, that I have been on a losing streak. But I'm, like, unaware of it. Your egg says, hey guys, I got accepted into college. Yeah, baby. What? In what way were you accepted into college? Did you get into your ideal college? I'm good to go, man. I'm ready to go, dude. Look at this hand, dude. Look at this hand. I must safeguard you. Oh, the J word. Hmm. I strike. Boom. No problem. No problem. Local University for History. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. You know, I was thinking about previous question. If I could write a book, what sort of book would I write? Here's the thing. Obviously, my number one interest is multiplayer games, specifically competitive games. That's, like, my absolute number one area in life of interest. Like, when I'm, you know, on the, the, the relaxed, casual streaming of Hearthstone, it's still a 1v1 game. When I'm done with that, I, like, study, go, 1v1 game. I go work on Atlas at work, team game. Like, that's very much so my jam. But I still really want to make a single player game. And one of those, ugh, one day. One day. Hmm. How do we want to do this one? I think I want to do this. And then I want to hit like this. And then do that. Is that, is that too crazy? I want to hurt him. No, maybe I just should have hit him in the, in the... With the other dude and armored up. Really want to do, like, a single-player game that's kind of like, uh... Ooh, Swippy Swept on. Ah! Ah! I really like the feeling of the, like, that lonely feeling that you get in Journey or Shadow of the Colossus or, more recently, Titan Souls that I played. Um, that, that lonely exploratory feel. Oh. I think this is what I want to do. I want to start armoring up. Hey, strike. Hey, strike. I can Grim Patron Inner Rage. Feels good. Play Shadow of the Colossus? Oh yeah, dude. I play Shadow of the Colossus. Not on stream. Many moons ago. Many moons ago. And what will bring itself forward today? I think I'm doing this thing for sure, right? Hey, give me a minute. Hey, give me a minute. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Guardian. Nothing seems cool, but I always wanted to make a game, like a single-player game that was very exploratory, very puzzly. Oh, Talos Principle is another game that had a very nice, lonely feel. Beautifully lonely. So many rats. So truly deeply wrathful. I think I can execute that one safely, right? I think what I do is I execute this and then I see what's up. Okay, so then I can do this.
Because what I love about those sort of mysterious, lonely games and mysterious, lonely environment is that, like, that feeling of mystery and wonder that you can create, that's just, like, so magnificent and so epic. Yes, hit that one! Dude! Now I'm gonna Dr. Boom, I'm gonna kill this! Actually, rather than battle raging, I should absolutely do this. Gain the extra armor. Hit it. One more time. A repeat performance. God, I love the Tell's Principle. Like the feeling antechamber instilled. Very mysterious, wondrous environment. That feeling of wonder. Oh, God, I love that. Dat wonder feels. <sighs> I've got the beast in my sights. <laughs> beast in the sights. Hmm. hmm. I think I want to battle rage first. So I can do this. Bring the pain. <laughs> huh, okay. So I think I still hit like this and then like this and like that. Strike. I think that's good. And then I can slam my own Grim Patron. I think. I think. Force of Nature, Savage. Oh, yes! It's not a Force of Nature, Savage Roar. We did it. We did it, America. I must safeguard the land. America. Oh, oh. Things are getting more tragic by the minute. Except when this happens. So I can hit, hit, hit. Okay. Everyone, get in here. Oh, that's a good one. Um. Back to work. So then I can hit For like this. And I hit like this. And then I get everything I've ever wanted. Everyone, get in here. Everyone, oh, I did that a little bit wrong. Mostly okay though. Wait, did I miss lethal? Wait, okay, so... Oh, Grom plus Taskmaster plus 12 plus Bite is lethal. What? Man! Woo! Mmm! Nailing it! It's very interesting when you work extremely hard to solve a puzzle that is not being uh, presented to you. But it's okay, I think I figured it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is gonna be dangerous. You wanna know how we make this real? You wanna know how we make this so real? You ready? You ready to see how we make this real? 
You ready to see how we do, how we do this? We're gonna hit like this. Whew. I don't know if we can make this work. This is, this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky. Okay, watch. Okay, watch. Strike. It's gotta hit here, right? Right here. Okay, it's not hasn't quite panned out for us yet. Change of plans. Okay, wait. This is gonna be very tricky to figure this one out. Hmm. Okay, let's. Ooh, this is gonna be real tricky. We need a little more armor here. Yeah. No, let's just let's get that armor going. He's probably real curious what we're up to. Right here. This was close. Alright, we have 16 armor. I'm so excited to take a break after this. Maybe we should just take a break right now. Just leave this unresolved for everyone. Ooh. True Talon and Prime Atlas, welcome to the day. We're, uh, we're missing lethal and finding it again. It was lost and then it was found. Where shall I strike? Where shall you strike, my friend? Well played. Well played. I can see. It's a close game. Playing against a zombie man. You just resurrected him from the dead. The power in this deck is incredible. You just need to see it. When we return. We're gonna win out. We're gonna go, we're going straight to 12, baby. We're on a break. Straight to 12.